The, the thing that we keep hearing, though, is that the devil is in the details, especially in how you pay for all of these things. So where, where do you think we're headed? If you guys are really going to get down to business and, and, and scope out more of this, what's it going to look like? Well, I, I think we are getting closer to an agreement on what the pay-fors are. Infrastructure has always been popular with politicians. How to pay for it is never an easy decision and one that has uh, lacks popularity. But uh, it seems to me that we are headed in a way that will uh, pay for infrastructure without a raise in taxes. The issue that we've had uh, with the Biden administration uh, really has been twofold. Uh, their opposition to uh, indexing the gas tax and their opposition to having electric vehicles pay anything toward infrastructure. And so those conversations yesterday may have fleshed out uh, what the administration, I think it was said over the weekend that we're now, if, if, you're, if you're denying us the uh, pay-fors that the 21 of us have agreed to, uh, or at least agreed to in concept, then it's up to the White House to tell us what would be acceptable without raising taxes, without undermining the, the Trump tax cuts of 2017. So it is still work in progress, but everybody seems uh, in that group seems like this is something that is accomplishable, but a lot is going to be determined by what the Democrat reaction is. Senator Schumer, who's indicated he's willing to do two bills, uh, including the one that we're talking about, and what is the White House finally going to, where are they going to land? Is President Biden going to live up to his campaign uh, advocacy for bipartisanship, bipartisanship and what I heard as an inaugural address, does that, those words mean something? So I hope there is give and take by the administration, and again, for the reasons that I've outlined. Hey, Senator, I, I don't know how close together the, the two sides are, are but I, I, I figure that climate resiliency was not a Republican. Uh, it, you probably didn't come up with that. I, I'm wondering whether, when you hear that term, could you... Could you just maybe give me more insight in exactly what you're talking about there, and, and does it differ from climate justice? Do you know? Could you could you go into it, both of those and let me know what, what we're talking? I, I see it's fifty billion dollars, but what exactly are we getting for that? How do we get the, the climate to be more resilient? What 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 is that? Well, I, I think what we're talking about is the opportunity for us to move in the direction of new technologies, things that reduce the the consumption of, uh, of fuels based upon uh, an oil-based economy. But that is, uh, in many ways, uh, a sticking point, has been a sticking point between Republicans and Democrats as we've sorted this out. And it's necessary to have that component. Again, it's, it's, it's what I hope will prevent us from having reconciliation that spends billions of dollars more on things that are not traditionally thought of as infrastructure. So it is, it is a challenge for us to bring Republicans and Democrats together generally over this particular issue. When you say you all have agreed for some pay-fors, you as the Republicans involved in this bipartisanship effort, I, I'm guessing you mean gas tax? What other potential increases are you, are you considering? What other ways to pay so, for this if you don't want to undo any of the taxes put in place in 2017? I did try to correct myself. When I said we've agreed to pay for it, so we've agreed mm -hmm. to them in concept. I don't want to tie anybody uh, to a, a definition yet, but it is in infrastructure investment by the private sector. It's public partnerships mm -hmm. that allow for the borrowing capacity of the federal government to uh, lend itself toward uh, infrastructure investment. Uh, it's the opportunity for us to, uh, in my view, uh, have all vehicles who utilize the, rail the, the roads pay for them, including electric vehicles. Uh, and at one point in time, the conversation was about indexing uh, the gas tax. It's also, most importantly, utilizing much of the money that has been appropriated for COVID relief uh, by the federal government, by the federal taxpayers, and returning it to the Treasury for purposes of investment in infrastructure, that part which is unspent. And it's hundreds of billions of dollars, and it's a significant component. I recognize that perhaps is not the most conservative position to take in the sense that uh, if we aren't going to spend the money on how it was appropriated, maybe we shouldn't spend it at all. But that's probably not an option here. Better for me, better for in my view, to see that we, it, we spend it on things that do matter, infrastructure being one of those. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.